Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. This is a cool card, man. When you overdo, you deplete your body to go against yourself, and it will take you longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 416, Nasdaq's up 315, SPs are up by 73. Gold, gold contract down $7.20, trading at 18.05 an ounce. You got silver up 4 cents, $20.53 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck. $91.65 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note up eight ticks, trading 119.23. The 30-year down 14 at 141.31 and King Dollar. King Dollar's getting taken to the woodshed out here. It is down 1149 ticks, trading at 105.224. We have the, there we go. Whoop, don't do it that quick. Where are you? We have the pound trading at 122. The yen is out here at 132, and the euro is at 103. It's off that low, man. The bottom line, very, you know, it was par that was there, 101, the euro. You're going to go to Italy, you're going to go to Europe, folks. Get those euros right now, man, because this dollar wants a lot lower price. Now, let's talk about the CPI, okay? Because the bottom line is that, you know, this, this print came in. Uh, came in a little less than the market was waiting for. And then, uh, you know, bottom line, the market likes it, it goes topside. So, with that, what you had in, inside here, okay, it was, it was just slightly lower too, by the way, okay? You're talking about the consumer price index increased 8.5% from a year earlier, um, you know, coming down from 9.1, okay? So, you got a basically, basically, you know, six tenths of 1%, right? Um, you had the, uh, the CPI, uh, you know, bottom line, you know, which strips out the volatile food and energy. Uh, I mean, it's the core. The, the core, which strips out the uh, food and energy, bottom line rose three tenths of one percent from June, and five point nine from the year before. Now, when you start going through some of these numbers, folks, okay, what what's really cool to look at is this. If we come down here, okay, so. Full gasoline, of course, we knew gasoline was coming down. That's down 7.7 percent. That's a monster number on the way down. Okay, that's the most since April of 2020. Um, utility prices down 3.6 percent. Food up 10.9. That's a big one. There's no doubt about that. As we come down a little bit more, now this is the one I want you to really wrap your head around because so shelter that we know that the the shelter cost had gone up dramatically, folks, okay? So shelter cost uh, rose uh, 5 tenths of 1% from June and 57 from last year. That's the most since 1991. Um, that being said, what you're going to see next is you're going to see that hotel prices actually fell 3.2%. They fell. My take is that what you're going to actually see here inside of the shelter cost because housing is getting softer, that's going to get softer. So that's going to be the next thing, and that's a very big part of it, that you're going to see flattening out. Um, and that's going to make a difference on a longer-term basis. Now, I, my take is that it's not going to make a difference in the aspect of, you know, the Fed raising rates. It is, however, you can see it through the market, it is uh, an aspect that the people want to buy the market because they're looking out, and watch this here, let's go, I'm going to put the yield curve up so you can see this baby out. So, if you're watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see here, the very top, this is the yield curve. You hear a lot about it, but this is how it works, right? So you get the two-year, three-year, five-year, seven-year, ten-year, thirty-year, right? Well, you can see on the two-year, um, this is a monster number in the two years. It's amazing, actually. The two years, 3.2%. The three year is 3.1. So it inverts right away, right away. The five year is 2.9. The seven year is 2.8. The 10 year is 2.7. And then 30 is 3. So what that generates, folks, is that you are going to have, bottom line, you know, softer economy. Doesn't mean you, you know, you have to basically go to hell in a handbag. You'll get a softer economy. But the market is betting on that within the next couple years, 
the bottom line, these rates are going to stabilize. And I suspect what, what's going to end up happening is that w when, when you get a, a rate structure that is going up very quick, most times, folks, okay, it really takes almost a year to about a year and a quarter to a year and a half to really hit. Uh, now, the rate hits immediately. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about, as it makes its way through the economy, as it hits, you find out who has strength and who has weakness inside businesses, inside households, inside all of it. And that's where I think we're at right now. Now, the S&P, bottom line, looks like it's gonna be an ABC structure up. This is this market's gonna blow some minds, man. I mean, there's no doubt that you talk about a fast acceleration off the bottom. Um, it's normal, yeah, it's a fast acceleration. Uh, if we get, uh, I think it's 68 million shares I'm looking for out here. What's that one? That's 79 million. Yeah, 68, 68 million. And you might not get it. You know, you, you might not get it out here today. We, we need 20 million. You, you, we'll, we'll, see what, we'll see how this shakes out. Now, if you get that, then you have an ABC structure up to 431. And 431 brings you all the way over to, uh, let me see this, 435. Well, it brings you, yeah, somewhere into the swing point uh, from May 4th. Now, NDX 100 is a different animal. Uh, as I, when I brought up when I was doing the update, this is a little dangerous, and, and what's dangerous about it is this, and you know, you've probably heard me say this many times. When you actually have a, a good day, and you're driving into a swing, and you can't take the swing out, it's like, okay, this is kind of, you know, the swing we're talking about here is at uh, 326.47. Now, you're gonna have more volume than that, and that, get, that confounds it even a little bit more. So, this is something to keep your eye on, man. That's, that's the real bottom line. This, this NASDAQ might need a little more rest than the S&P. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now is trading up by 435. The NASDAQ's up 325. S&P's up 76. We'll come right back.